So traders, one thing that I've been watching for and watching out for these markets right now is preparing for one of the greatest uh, wealth opportunities that are coming this decade. And it's gonna require a lot of patience when it comes to trading the markets. One of the things that I do believe is when it comes to the gold market. And the gold market is, is something gold, silver, the commodity cycle, um, and you know the mining sector, stuff like that. I believe that we are on the cusp of, um, or, or we, or we, are, we, are, we are going to experience one of the craziest moves to the upside and we need to be ready for that move. Now, I'm not talking about we need to be ready right now, right? Because I do believe we're going to go through a, a deflationary period, the, the, as in like the inflation coming back down again. And, but then on the other side of this deflationary period, it may be right now that, that we're actually starting it. So it might be for the next 12 months, we go through that deflationary period, but on the other side of it. So on the other side, so it may be 23, 24, we go through a crisis period, but then on the other side of that, 25 and 26, I just it's, we, we need to be prepared for for jumping on one of the greatest bull markets we've seen in history. You think the good, you think the Bitcoin, is big in the market, then um, then then you haven't seen anything yet. And and what we're looking at right now is an actual chart of what actually happened back in the 70s. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Right now is very similar to what actually happened in the 70s. Very similar to what actually happened in the 70s. And this is what's this is what's going on right now. And and what happened in the 70s? The inflation looked like this. We had a little dip initially, then we had a rise. We had a rise like that, then we had a deflationary period, and then we had another big rise. This here was this here was the uh, the uh, uh, this here was the second half of the. Um, the, the second half of the decade of the 70s, right? So that's what you're looking at down the bottom here. This is actually right here is obviously 1971. And then obviously you got 1980 over here. And this is the gold price we're looking at right now. So moving forward, I honestly do believe, and again, guys, not initially, okay? Initially, everything, everything is going to get crushed. Commodities, gold, silver, we, we're probably going to, we're, they're all going to get crushed, right? Um, from 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 the the deflationary period that, that we go through but then on the other side of you know when the government comes out and they're just going to make it rain with with money uh you watch but then on the other side of that we need to be prepared because for a good three four year period um we are going to experience some incredible incredible moves and so something like gold look at this here with gold gold did what gold here this is that this is this is what this is what this is the weekly chart here of gold going from from the early early 19 uh, sort of 1970s and we actually slowly stair stepped up right into the um, in, into into the 1970s then we peaked out and then we came back down see so this deflationary period we came back down to uh, around 1997 and then we actually what then we actually started to pick back up didn't we we actually can see we actually came down came back up came down came back up and we started to pick back up again as you can see and then it was from the 1970s as you can see through here this is when the trends trend really started to get going look at this here so it, it really came down 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 we got back above we started to create these high lows high lows high lows and then guess what high lows all the way up and then it went absolutely just bonkers we're going to see something like that on the other side so the big key i want you to keep an eye out for is the weekly chart for something like that right wait for something to start to kick in. We may be making lower lows and lower highs right now, lower highs, lower low, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs like that. But as soon as we start to get something like this, which is a V bottom, and then something a higher low, and we start to get something like that, guess what? We're probably likely to start to see an upward move. And that's when you know that, that's when you know that shit's about to get real, okay? So we really need to keep an eye on that. And we really need to keep an eye on what's going on uh, through there, through this big massive pull, uh, through this period through here. We may be going through that period right now, okay? And over the next couple of years, we're gonna go through it. But on the on the other side of the next couple of years, guys, please, if you are if you if you are just focusing on the the crypto market and so on and so forth, then then it's 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 not good, okay? It is not good because it's it's going to it's. 
you're you're missing the big picture on where the opportunity people are like i want to buy bitcoin again i want to buy bitcoin again i want to buy bitcoin again no forget bitcoin forget the bitter coin right bitter coin has been done and dusted the crypto market is going to continue to get smashed going to get creamed there's going to be a washing away effect that's already been happening for the last 12 months or last six months as you know so i'm not saying right now okay guys i'm not saying go out there and start to buy gold and mining sector right now but please, traders, like just be ready and be alert for this. Over the next couple of years, this is one big major thing you need to be keeping an eye on for is that if you want to jump on the next greatest bull market in history on the other side of, of the coming recession, or should I say coming, re the recession we're in right now, okay? On the other side of this, which may take 12 months or wh whoever, who knows how long it's going to come until the Fed start, stops doing the raising rates and comes back in with QE and not QT. Whenever that happens, then you know it's, it's, it's getting ready for game on. But here's what I am telling you right now, is that if you want to have, you want to come 2030 and you want to have a few extra millions and millions and millions of dollars in your account, then be, be, be ready for the greatest bull market in history. And as you can see, look what happened here. Because uh, this is actually going to happen for the QE, but the other, the inflation is going to be much, much greater um, on the other side of this recession. We're gonna go through a recession, and then guess what? The dumb asses are gonna print. The, if you if if we printed, uh, whatever it is, just call it five trillion. If we printed five trillion dollars, right? If we printed five trillion dollars in the vid situation, and then that caused the inflation, the inflation to do X, Y, Z for the last couple of years, what do you think is gonna happen when they do not 5 trillion in printing, but 15, 20 trillion in printing. What's that gonna do to inflation rate? That's when you're gonna see everything just go nuts, right? So be ready for that, guys, because just we if you wanna capture that, that next big move, then that's coming again, but it may take another 12 months for that to come. But then look what happened with gold, right? Gold really took off in the 1970s. Absolutely just went bonkers in the 1970s, as you can see. Continue to stair step up, stair step up. And we actually had, if I measure that, from the from the from the low point there from the low to high as you can see that's a almost almost an 800 percent increase now if you had options through that time long-term dated options that is tens of thousand percent increases using options and by the way, guys, that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning, I'm now, I'm obviously in, I'm obviously buying gold, but I'm waiting for that time to buy as much time as possible. And then I'm going to be start to buy some really good uh, long-term options play because they're going to go absolutely bonkers. And we talk about like $25,000 into possibly three or $4 million, okay? Stuff like that. Um, so there we go, guys. Anyway, that's, that's, that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. Get ready for this because this is gold. We, we, we are going to see this again in the markets. I hope this helps you out today, traders. Traders, just to let you know that that $4 sale that I've been running right now for my Master Trader bundle, that ends today, okay? So if you haven't got it yet, then click on that link, very first thing in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.